Good morning. Uh, good morning, Mr. Iger. Uh, my name is Justin Danhoff with the National Center for Public Policy Research. I'm a Virginia resident, and my state has recently been embroiled in political scandal over the use of blackface. Governor Ralph Northam has come under fire for one of his medical school yearbook photos, which depicted an individual in blackface and another in a KKK hood. Disgusting. Individuals and organizations across the political spectrum have called for his resignation, including Hillary Clinton, the Congressional Black Caucus, Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Planned Parenthood, and the entire Virginia congressional delegation, and many, many others. Additionally, in Florida, the Secretary of State recently resigned after a photo from 15 years ago surfaced of him wearing blackface at a party. At NBC, a rival network to ABC, morning host Megyn Kelly lost her job, not for actually wearing blackface, but for having an insensitive discussion about the topic. ABC News hosts were very critical of Kelly's comments at the time and were part of the media backlash that led to her ouster. However, two premier ABC hosts have, don't, have their own sordid past with blackface. While on another network, ABC's Jimmy Kimmel donned blackface to mock a former professional athlete using what many would consider a racist minstrel dialect. Furthermore, The View host Joy Behar recently had a photo emerge in which she was donning blackface as well at a party. Mr. Iger, with all of the pride that's quite clear to everyone in this room that the diversity that you place on Disney, the diversity of the characters in your films, the pride that you have when you talk about Black, Black Panther both at this meeting and on media interviews, I find it puzzling that the company seems okay with Kimmel and Behar's past racist actions and behaviors. Can you comment to us on their use of blackface? And are they simply held to a different standard than politicians and newscasters because they're comedians? Well, first of all, uh, th thank you for coming again. I know you've uh, attended these meetings in the past. Um, we don't condone the use of blackface under any circumstances in our world today. We take into account context in, in all cases when we become aware of uh, people that have uh, been in blackface in public. And the specific incidents that you raised, we chose to deal with privately. We did not feel that it required any particular comment, and uh, nor do we have anything to say about what actions we may have taken in that regard. And we have no comment about uh, the actions that were taken uh, by others that you cited, except to say that it's something that we don't condone. Okay, thanks. I just would put it out there that you are the most powerful man in Hollywood, so your public statements do mean a lot. So well, I'm just, just, I don't, just I th offering I, that. I think that's a compliment. It is. Um, <laughs> but uh, thank you. We obviously uh, take situations like this very seriously. Uh, we've taken swift action as a company uh, at any point when we feel the behavior of someone that works for us is a discredit to our company themselves, the people who work for us, our customers, or society. And we've got a great track record there in this particular incident, but we chose to deal with it as a private matter. Okay, thank you.